Hello, and welcome back to another night of bedtime stories. Tonight we're going to be reading Samir's Midnight Friend. And this is based on a parable of Jesus about a friend knocking on the door. It's based on Luke 11, 5 through 8. It's written by Yvonne Holloway McCall, illustrated by Jim Roberts from Archbooks. Samir slid with his bulky pack from the woolly camel's humpy back. He stirred the beans in his cooking pot. I'm starved, he cried. I hope they're hot. But the camel picked her nose right in and gobbled the, beam, the beans with a fiendish grin. Samir cried, then stopped to blink, and milked the camel to get a drink. I didn't know you could milk a camel. But the clumsy camel kicked his hand, and the milk was swallowed by the desert sand. Camel! There was nothing to do. It was time to go, for the fiery sun in the sky hung low, so the caravan jolted along its way, and Samir went hungry the rest of the day. Poor Samir! The moon peeked out from behind the hill, and Samir's tummy was empty still. I'm glad, thought Samir, I have a friend who will feed me thought tonight at the journey's end. But he came to the city much too late, and the way was blocked by a locked main gate. So the camels were freed of their load to squeeze through the needle's eye gate on bended knees. When Samir at last saw his friend, he cried, I feel like a hollow horn inside. We've nothing left, friend Benjamin said, but we'll go to the neighbor and borrow some bread. The one-room house was dark next door, and the man inside had begun to snore. Samir started to wail and weep. What can we do? He's sound asleep. He'll never get up to give us bread in the middle of the night. But Benjamin said, I know he'll give us a helping hand, for that's the custom throughout the land. The man would be thought to be terribly rude if he turned us away without any food. Samir's voice grew scared and terse. If he has to answer, that's even worse. He'll really be angry. He'll fume and roar. He'll pound us to powder and slam the door. But Benjamin knocked with all his might. His deep voice shattered the quiet of the night. I've come to borrow a bit of bread for a hungry friend from afar, he said. They heard the neighbor's sleepy groan, and they knew he wished to be left alone. But then came the sounds of a muffled din and a shuttle of a scuffling feet within. Listen, said Samir, in dread and fear, he's feeling around in the dark for a spear or a hefty hammer that weighs a ton, and I'm not too hungry and weak to run. And the sound of stealthy steps was gone, and the iron bolt of the door was drawn. The scape scraping sound throughout the house like a screeching squeak of a great giant mouse. The children woke and wondered why, and even the baby began to cry. Then a burly man with weathered skin stepped from the shadowy room within. Samir's hands grew clammy and hot. Was the man a friend, or was he not? Then he thrust out his hand without warning. My wife baked this bread early yesterday morning. You can see there's just enough left, he said. For a meal for one, three loaves of bread. Whew, sighed Samir, his face aglow. Ben said simply, I told you so. That's a story of Samir's midnight friend. You know what this story teaches us? It teaches us that when we're in need of something, that we can ask God in prayer for what we might need. And God will answer us. Now, God may answer us, and it may be a yes, a no, because he has better plans for us, or a not yet, like it'll come in the future. And so this story teaches us that we should always pray for God 
for whatever we need. And it also teaches us generosity and the importance of generosity. When someone is in need, we should help them. If they're cold, we should try to make them not cold by getting them a cloak, getting them a coat, getting them socks. If they're hungry, we should get them food. If they're thirsty, we should get them a drink. This is what Jesus teaches us to do. And so let's end with a bedtime prayer. Holy God, thank you for this day. Thank you for everything in our lives. And thank you for the people in our lives who help us through the good and the bad times. And Lord, I pray that we all get a good night's sleep tonight and that we wake up feeling refreshed, revived, and ready to take on the day. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.